Howdy, this is Chad with the Northern Survivalists. I'm making banana bread here. These are three bananas. Um, nice, very, very black. Um, um, what some people would call um, unedible, but uh, I think they smell absolutely lovely. And um, give off a very pungent banana, um, very sugary type uh, smell to them. Nice and natural. But, um, okay, so I got um, three crushed bananas there, and you, as you notice, I'm not out in the woods, but that doesn't matter. I mean, um, survival skills can be learned in the common kitchen, too. And um, in here, I got some vanilla for this, and uh, the vanilla, and um, what else? Let's go, um, I pulled this off the internet, it's like I. Mm -mm. And some recipes. So I'm on uh, simplerecipes.com. Okay, so I'm gonna get my butter, sh my sugar, and one egg, uh, the vanilla, baking soda, some salt, which I'm gonna use sea salt. It's got it's all got this like tinted color to it, nice, and um, some flour. So I've already um, preheated the oven. Um, and then out in the wilderness, you can always make yourself a wilderness oven. And um, I got the bananas mashed, and I'm going to mix it together with the sugar, egg, vanilla, and then um, sprinkle in the baking soda, salt, and then mix it in, and, which I'll just probably add everything at once. You know, I'm a guy, so I do it like that. Um, and then I'm going to add the flour last and mix. So I'll just basically throw everything in the pot in the so I'll just probably throw it all in here to minimize the dishes. <laughs> but as you can, um, I just want to make the point that uh, you don't have to um, throw away just because the banana looks ugly. Uh, shit, just get on. It, even if you don't know how to cook, get on the internet and just. I mean. Throw stuff in together. Don't don't throw food away. That's that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, uh, I'll go um, pay attention to this um, snow cap right now and uh, and throw everything together and um, and be right back. Okay, stay tuned. I got it. That's cool. Oh uh, yeah, that'd probably be good. Okay, here we are back again. Um, I did sift the flour because um, I, I'm just that way. I think it mixes either easier and gets a better consistent bread. And, um, we basically just take all these ingredients: the um, the vanilla, the flour, the bananas, and, the, and the, everything that's in here. I think I even added some cinnamon for the hell of it, and. Uh, very much, but yeah. No, we could. No, no way. I'm not gonna. I'm not throwing beer in here. No way. No. There you go. You want me to bore you? You want to watch this video while I'm mixing stuff up? Okay. <laughs> There's something I'm forgetting here. Let's go back and look. Something about butter. Um, where does the butter come in? Yeah. Well, okay. Mix everything together. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm supposed to mix butter in the mashed potatoes. I mean, if I can mash bananas. Blame it on that guy. Um, so, okay, I'll be back. Um, hey, I, I don't, um, my videos, I do, I do not screen these, or I, I could edit them, but I don't really got the top-notch uh, editing equipment, so back in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Um, a few minutes has lapsed. Uh, as you can see, I got everything mixed in here. What I'm going to do now. Awesome. 
I'm going to take this pan, so I have my beer bread and everything in, and give it a little olive oil. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some would argue that you don't need to do that since it's like one of those um, high tech no stick or whatever. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm not even sure it's healthy to be baking in, but it works. It gets the job done. So let's um, put it. Let's uh. Um, evenly put it into the pan and then we'll let it uh, bake for one hour on preheated oven at 350 Fahrenheit. tastes good. I'm going to remedy this problem with uh, getting a, a tripod for, I think they're like six bucks. <laughs> um, what I'll do is I'll get a scraper to get the rest of that out of there. But um, you know, this pan's a little large, but you know, hey, uh, any port in a storm. So, let's, um, okay, I'll get back and uh, what we're going to do is uh, just basically open the oven and throw it on in there and um, we'll return after an hour of uh, baking I'm sure you don't want me to sit uh, put this uh, camera on and like point it at the oven and then make the uh, video like an hour long <laughs> no, I didn't think so okay you know it's like shit or get off the pot so I'll stick that in the oven and be back all right hi chat of northern survival skin here I just took my stuff out of the oven and uh, Turn off the heat. I'm gonna to take away from the stove to stove top because uh, generally um, um, tends to. Um, so I guess I'll just put it over here in this corner. But um, I want to get a plate to put this on first, and I want to pop it out of here. And uh, how about some knife porn? Okay, there we go. Rat seven. <laughs> Domestic uses for rat seven. Or uh, as we call it, urban survivalism for Rat 7. But these edges, just like the beer bread, are, are perfect. It was uh, a little bit overkill using Rat 7, but um, why don't we pop it out? I'm going to take two hands to do that, so. A plate. A plate. Yeah, I know this video is like totally half cocked, but you know, it's like it just shows you the simplicity it is to um, cook up something like this. Um, what you can do in your own um, kitchen, you can do out in the wilderness. Um, out in the wilderness, you're gonna have to um, do a little bit, do it a little different, but um, it's basically the same. It's just that your cooking apparatuses are gonna be, be totally different. Wow, there we go. Oh, ready for another loaf. Okay, so let's flip this over. And then there we go. We got beer bread. Um, <laughs> beer bread. <laughs> I've been drinking too many one of those. Uh, um, mm, and this good stuff. Um, 
Yeah, I found this for uh, $10 for a 12 pack, so I picked it up. It's like cheaper than wine, so 7%. Um, mm, mm, mm. So when you take it out of the oven like this, it's going to cook just, um, it's going to, what, what you, you don't, you can't really, well, you could, but it's going to uh, like ruin the texture of the bread. Um, you could take a knife, I could take this rat seven right now and, uh, and totally cut pieces with it, but that's not a good idea. The good idea, this bread is hot. Okay. Wow. Ooh, that's hot. Damn. Um, what I want to do is I want to let this, it's going to cook a little bit more. Oh, this is going to be good. Mmm. Um, what it's doing right now is it's cooking outside of the oven internally in there. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's just something you can do. Kick you out some um, some bread. It's good stuff too. I mean, you're gonna see here in this uh, next segment what's all about. So I got I gotta let this like uh, cool for about an hour. I'm gonna go do something else. Okay, all right, take care. Okay, there I am, the Northern Survivors again. I got I got uh yeah. Let's see how let's see how well it cooks. Let's go over here and grab uh. We're at seven and let's cut off a piece. Okay. Look at that. Banana bread. Mm-hmm. Excuse the fingers. No. Oh no. Mm. Oh, that's some good shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well you get my point. Take thing that you have and uh, make bread out of it. But thanks for watching. This is Chad with the Northern Survivalist.com. I'm going to sit here and enjoy some bread. Alright, but please uh, um, check out the Northern Survivalist.com.